Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. All right, we got a little bit to talk to you about. Just had a consult with a young man today. He was facing some financial difficulties. Now, before we talk about him and the information that was discussed, let me take the time to explain something. A young lady emailed, and I didn't look at the email. I thought it was one of our clients. I thought one of our clients were telling us they were in dire straits. Talk about they received a letter from the sheriff saying they need to be out by the 4th. Ladies and gentlemen, the 4th is three days from now. She needs to be out by the 4th, so you don't count today. The 4th is three days from now. They show up in the morning. They don't show up in the afternoon. The fourth is three days from now. So the first thing I said, why are you just now telling us this? That's my first conversation in the email is why are you just now telling us this? Waiting until the last minute. I don't do last minute. Any of you who are our clients who contact us at the last minute saying that you're facing some dire situation. You see, if the sheriff's showing up at the door, that means there's already been a court case. If the sheriff is showing up at her door, that means the judge has already made a decision. If the sheriff is showing up at her door and she has until the 4th, they didn't just show up this morning. They have to give you 10 days, at least. So let me ask you a question. What in the flying fornication does she want us to do for her? It wasn't until I went back and looked at the email because I needed to confirm if it was a client of ours because our clients, they don't operate like that. Our clients, my people, they don't operate like that. They know better. They will contact us the minute they receive something. And we'll go over it and tell them, no, don't worry about it, we'll respond. So, I emailed her back and told her that I'd already told her what to do. And I blocked her. She can't contact me ever again. Okay? Because she BCC'd me. You don't hit me up in a group email. See, when I responded back to her, I didn't know I was responding back to a group email. I thought I was responding back to an individual. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't do the group emails. You take me out of your list. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Now, I segue because I have a meeting in less than 15 minutes. I segue to talk about that because I'm just letting you know that she didn't contact me at the beginning because she found my email, which is underneath every video. She found the email. That means that she knew in advance. And if she didn't know, I don't give a, a fornication. Okay? I literally don't. I could care less. It is just that serious. You see, my people, the ones who are directed towards me, the ones who find me, y'all know who you is. You, well, you you just needed the help, and all of a sudden you found my channel, and everything you needed to know about what you were looking for was right there. Okay, those individuals, they don't wait till the last minute to contact me. Now, I, not, no, hold on now. They will sit up there and not utilize the information I give them. They'll hit one setback, even though I give them more than five options. I think it was nine different angles that we help with today because there were several different issues ladies and gentlemen let me tell you about the conversation that was had today any of you guys ever filed bankruptcy oh hang up oh no i hang up excuse me sir i filed bankruptcy what about you <laughs> no i didn't file no bankruptcy no well yeah yeah i filed bankruptcy i'm sorry okay well Everybody but you. Yeah, huh? You lied to me at first, so I ain't talking to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let, let's do an experiment. We're going to open up chat, GPT. We're going to take it off of this conversation because this was, at the end, we're talking about core versus non-core matters. But we're going to take it off of that conversation, and we're going to bring it to another conversation, okay? Okay? Now, I want y'all to pay attention to what's being said. Excuse me. I have a question for you. Kama, do you have time to answer my question? 
Question mark. Stop listening. That's interesting. That took too long, ladies and gentlemen. I asked it to have time, and it's sitting up here knowing that I said I got a meeting in 15 minutes that it wants to take its time. My question is, in bankruptcy, all debt collection activities must cease. Comma, how does this work when it comes to utilities? Comma, cell phone bill, comma, light bill, comma, gas bill, comma, how does that work? Question mark. Stop listening. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it really wants to be stupid. So we're gonna ask the question again. Let's do it this way. Wake up. I have a question. Comma, do you have time to answer my question? I don't want you searching your knowledge base. I want you searching other areas. In bankruptcy, all debt collection activities must cease. Comma, how does this work with reference utility bills? Comma, phone bills, comma, gas bill, comma, light bill, comma, water bill? Question mark. Are you telling me I must continue to pay? After the first month is over? You are a liar. Comma, I do not have to pay a utility bill under any circumstances once I file bankruptcy because that is evidence of a debt. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what he says. He's going to say that the automatic stay only works up until for the past due amount before the bankruptcy filing. Anything that occurs after the bankruptcy filing, you're responsible for. Wake up, you idiot, comma, none of my utilities are on a month-to-month -month basis, comma, my utilities are yearly or annually, and it's prorated for the year, exclamation mark. How dare you not understand this and tell me that I have to keep paying these utility companies while I'm in bankruptcy when they know that I'm on a prorated plan. Exclamation mark. I need seven case citations supporting that conclusion. Stop listening.
I asked it for 17 case citations supporting the conclusion that the utility bill that is prorated, see, this case discusses utility companies demanding uh, payment further service after bankruptcy filing. Let me, give me a second. Wake up. Wake up. That utility companies prorate their customers and average out their annual expenses to formulate a monthly expense, period. As we all know, comma, usage varies from water, comma, gas, comma, light, and other utilities. And yet the bill is roughly the same every month. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, go and look at your electric bill. You will see that, yes, 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 you use this much more electric this month than last year. They always give you, uh-oh, he's talking about he can't pull real-time data. So it's because of the 17. So I have to do, in this instance, I have to do seven. All right. Your gas bill, your water bill, your light bill, your cell phone bill, it's all prorated. If you're on a pro uh, post plan, that's one thing. Okay, this case discusses how utility companies can prorate payments. Nope. I don't want the can prorate. I want they do prorate payments. Nobody pays for the full year up front. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the rich people do, but the, the poor people, they don't do that. Okay, this case discusses Supreme Court case establishing utilities companies must provide due process before disconnecting service of a bill. Nope, that's not what I asked them for, is that? That's not what I asked them for. Give me a second, y'all. I'm going to pause y'all for just one second. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to the very beginning. Forget that. I'm going to start right here where I said I have a question. Forget his stupidity. And I'm going to put what I've already put in here, and we're going to get his answer now. And I'm going to let him talk. I ain't going to do no talking. I'm going to let him talk because he's getting on my last nerve with his stupidity. And I, I had to comment about not searching his knowledge base. So now he's searching his knowledge base. And, oh, look at that. Yes. Now, I want you all to pay attention. Now he's yesing, but now he did but allows monthly payments. So hold on. So I want y'all to pay attention. Very important that y'all pay attention to this. Yes, when a person files for bankruptcy under any chapter, the bankruptcy typically includes all debts incurred at the time of filing. These debts are disclosed in the bankruptcy schedules and are subject to the automatic stay, which halts most collection activities, including utility payments. However, if a utility company bills annually but allows monthly payments, the debt due at the time of the bankruptcy filing would be considered part of the pre-petition debt and would fall under the protection of the automatic stay. Mm -hmm. The utility company must cease collection efforts on this annual debt until the bankruptcy is resolved. Mm -hmm. Here are five case citations supporting the cessation of collection activities on outstanding debts, including annual utility charges upon the filing of bankruptcy. One. Inri Whitaker, 882-F2D-791-3D-SIR, 1989. This case establishes that the automatic stay under Tech Shadow 362 prevents utility companies from collecting pre-petition debts, including annually prorated charges. 2. Inri Bagley, 41-BR-402-ED-PA, 1984. It was ruled that utility companies are barred from attempting to collect on pre-petition debts. Now, ladies and gentlemen... I'll have a meeting in two minutes, so I have to do this last one for you. Wake up. Wake up. Well, I filed bankruptcy back in 2021, and my utility company continued to charge me when I had an annual prorated utility bill, comma, and our contract notified me 
that my utilities could be cut off should I not pay the bill assessment, period. When I filed bankruptcy, there was supposed to be an automatic stay or temporary halt on the obligations of the contract. And they did not do it, which means they violated the automatic stay order of the bankruptcy court and should be held in contempt. I need you to produce a petition to this effect in the bankruptcy court and make it universal for any bankruptcy court in any state of the union, comma, and you will include the case citations and there must be at least 30 case citations throughout this petition, comma, and eight sentences per paragraph and eight paragraph per section. Exclamation mark. I'll post this in the link with the title. Gotta go. Y'all has a good day. I hit the button twice. Y'all has a good day because I got to hit this button.